Hi everyone, welcome back to the Civ Raising Move. And you can see this time he's now got both arms attached. What I'm going to be showing you in this video is just how I prepared that right arm just to get it ready to reattach onto the robot. So let's take a look at that. So the first thing I need to do is get this gear glued onto the end of the forearm. Now it can be a little confusing because this gear itself is the same on both forearms. It's not a mirror image. But the forearm itself is kind of a mirror image. But what we have to do is just line up this little notch here with the rectangular hole here. It would be easier to do if I didn't have my cables in the way. But that will just line up there. And then if we turn the arm over a little bit, put that on there, you see that this side needs to line up with the edge of the forearm. So that's kind of the position it needs to go in. So I'll get that glued on. Okay, stuck on there pretty well actually. Um, so you can see the important points are to line it up here with this uh, notch lining up with the rectangular hole. This flat edge here lines up with the edge of that square hole and this edge here kind of lines up with the edge of the forearm. I think I could have done with going ever so slightly more in that direction but it seems to have glued on there pretty quick and I can't move it. So one reason I didn't make this video earlier is as you can see here I had a little accident with the uh, little finger and it's got snapped off. I have no idea how that happened. I just picked up the hand one day and found uh, it was broken. You can see it's uh, snapped just in here. You can't actually see that very well because of the side it's on. This this section here is just gone and the other side is uh, snapped as well. So I can probably remove that pin And we'll have to unthread the finger. Uh, one problem I'm going to have is that the uh, fingertip is glued on. That's where the knots are. I'll have to maybe try and get that open. You can see what I've done here. I've printed another complete finger. So we could actually replace the whole thing. Or we could just, if possible, just replace the piece that's broken. I'm going to see if I can get this apart a bit more. So as you can see, what I've done is I've removed the cover and undone the tendons from the servo and I've pulled them through to here. Now what I'm thinking is I could just, I'm very tempted to just give this a tug and, and that will pull those uh, tendons through and the finger will be off but if I do that I've then got to re-thread um, all the way back through here and it would involve taking the wrist apart to get them through and into here that's quite a bit of work so ideally I don't want to I don't really want to do that if I can get away with it the ideal situation I think would be to try and break open this fingertip and just cut the uh, the tendons off at that end and then re-thread the new finger from the end so I'm going to see if I can get that apart Put a sheet of cardboard down on my bench because I'm getting a little bit annoyed with myself. Keep scratching up my nice workbench. I've cut that off uh, with a, a Stanley knife. It wasn't too difficult, but it has um, slightly ruined the uh, fingertip. I can uh, salvage this part if I wanted to, but it might is, might be just as easy to just replace the whole finger. Um, that's actually given me access to the the uh, knot on the end. So I could probably try and undo that. I snipped the knot off the end, but because of all the glue down in the holes, I still can't pull them through. So what I'm going to try and do next is um, cut them just inside where we can get access to them. I'll lose about uh, that much of the length, maybe about 10 millimeters. 
Um, I'm not sure if that's going to leave the tendons too short and then the whole thing will be in vain and I'll have to thread new tendons through anyway. Started to build up this finger, I've glued the sections together and I've managed to re-thread the fishing lines through making sure that the one that's on the top remains on the top all the way through and the one that's on the bottom remains on the bottom all the way through so nothing's crossed. I've also drilled out the holes in here on the inner joints at 3.2 millimeters and the outer joints at 3 millimeters. So the next thing to do is to put the 3 millimeter printer filament through to form the hinges. So then what I've done next is tighten up the tendons on the servo. I used my robot lab to move the servo into position while I tightened each tendon. I actually used a small script here and I just uh, played around with this number here to move it between 0 and 180 and then tightened each tendon, one at 0 and one at 180. I've now got the finger kind of in the middle position and I've glued the knot. So I'll just let the glue dry on the knot, just make sure I'm totally happy with the knot and then I can glue the fingertip on. Incidentally, I have recharged the battery, so we're back up at 12.5 volts. That's the first time I've charged it since um, installing the new batteries. Okay, I thought I'd just check the wrist, and it, it doesn't work, as you can see. You can hear it moving, but it's just not working. So there really is no point in reattaching this forearm onto the robot until we've fixed the wrist. I should have checked this first, because taking the wrist apart involves undoing all of the tendons on the servos, which means we'll have to retighten them all again, set them all up again, which is really annoying. But I think it's important to fix this wrist, otherwise we're gonna get it on the robot and the wrist won't work. So I loosened all the tendons but I didn't unthread them, I'm hoping it will give me enough room to get the gear out. Looks like that might be cracked in there. So what I want to do is get this little gear off here. There's a screw in the end of it. That's what I needed access to, that gear. It's covered in grease, so I'm gonna go and give it a wash, get that cleaned up. And the servo horn, I'll do the same. It's also got grease on it. So I've just put a screw in here just to keep the servo horn central to the gear. And then what I'm gonna do is drill two very small holes through the black servo horn and down into the gear and I'm going to fit two pins in there.
Now what I used for a pin was just a simple nail, a wire nail. And then I cut the head off with the Dremel and just cut a little section off with the Dremel and that gave me a, a nice short pin. So that's the pin that I've got out of the nail. Um, I can get two pins out of one nail, I could probably get three actually. A bit tricky to get the pin through so I took it out of the vise. I've got the pin through the, uh, the black servo horn. Now I just need to get it down into the hole in the in the gear. Yeah, it's come down quite easily. screw back in try and keep things central I'm not necessarily drilling the holes exactly opposite each other I'm, I'm looking for a tooth of the gear so we've got a bit of uh, material in the gear to screw into I'm using pins rather than screws because we don't have room for the screw heads. And I'm doing it by hand just so that I don't go all the way through the gear. So that should securely hold that. It would probably be a good idea just to put a little bit of super glue on it as well, but the pins are really where all the strength is, so I might not bother with glue. Maybe a little dab of glue on top of the pins to stop them from falling out. But that should nicely securely hold that. So I'll go ahead and reattach the gear. I'm using a little bit of thread locker blue on the screw. I don't know how much difference that makes, but I always put it on. And then all we'll need is a bit of grease back on it and then we can put the wrist back together. job of getting the grease around it but there's a little bit in there that should help a bit there is already grease on the other gear the big gear that mates with it just super keen to get the wrist closed up feel a little bit like a surgeon this is particularly tricky so I might do this off camera just might need to hold it up away from the camera while I do it
it is unbelievably tight this You kind of have to get um, all three of these lugs in. There's one here, one down the side here, and one on the, on the back that we can't see. But you also have to get the gear to mate. The two, the two gears need to mesh together. And there's also a, like a cable guide in there that gets in the way. It sort of feels like it's totally impossible and then suddenly it just pops on. It's still not quite home. I think that might possibly be the gear not mating. There, yeah, it feels like it's in. Um, one thing that's probably going to be a problem is you may have lost the nuts. There should be nuts inside here for these screws to screw into and if they've fallen out the screws aren't going to screw into anything. No, it's gone tight so there must be a nut in there. I do think this wrist looks really nice when it's put together but it's really difficult to assemble. Okay, that one's tight, so the nut must be in there. Let's see if we can be lucky with the back one. No. So there's no nut in there. Don't want to take it apart again. So I'm happy it works. It's just one issue that we've lost the nut for this screw. It's probably just. Uh, down inside there somewhere. There it is. So that's a real shame. Um, I think I'll leave it. Just hope we don't have a problem. So what I need to do now is to go ahead and re-tighten all the tendons. Right, so I've set up and tightened all the tendons again. It did take a little while. And I've also expanded my script here. What I've done is I've created some more servo services and just named them pinky, ring, measure, index, thumb and wrist. I've just literally gone to the runtime tab, found the servo, right click it, click start and then give it a name. I've created one for each of the fingers and also one for the wrist. And then with the script, you can see that I'm now 
grabbing the Arduino service and all of those new services that I've just set up, which are the servo services, and giving them names, pinky, ring, measure, index, thumb, and wrist, and then attaching them all. And you'll notice that I'm setting their pin numbers here, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then I've just got uh, an array. I believe you'd call it an array in Python. I'm not very familiar with Python. Um, which just consists of the number 0 and 180 repeated five times. And then this is a loop. I'm just looping over that. So four positions, four position in positions. It's just going to iterate over this indented section for this number of times, once for each of these numbers in this array. Now 0 is uh, the open position and 180 is the closed position, so it's just going to open and close five times. It's also going to move the wrist in that sequence as well. And then finally I'm just detaching all the servos to stop them from buzzing. So let's have a look at what that does. Just before I close this up, I'm going to make sure that the nuts are all in position. I've actually already checked, and two of them are and two of them are not. The two in here, this one and this one, they're in there. That's okay. But then there should be one here and also one on the other side around here, and they're missing. I've got them here on the bench, so I'm just going to uh, loosely install them inside there, and then I'm going to refit the cover. So I managed to get them in, it took me a couple of attempts because the nuts fell out again. Four screws, one here, here, here and here. So we could have a go at trying to bolt this on now. Not going to do it super tight. Something just doesn't seem right with this thickening here, it doesn't seem to line up. Okay, I've just run the uh, 8mm drill through there, and I think the issue is just that the hole's a little tight and the um, there isn't enough gap down in here. So I'll just put it on for sort of cosmetics for the moment, but we won't actually operate the elbow. So I think that would be uh, a little too tight. It might work, but might be best just to loosen that up a bit. Okay, then we'll leave it there. Pretty happy with that. Got the second hand on and working. What I'll probably do next time is return my attention back to the stomach with the NeoPixel ring. We haven't had that operating since we've reassembled it back into the robot. And the last time I looked at the NeoPixel ring, I didn't get all the lights working. So I might look at doing it via a Python script this time and see if that makes any difference, see if we can get that working. We can also get the torso tilting left to right. We should be able to get a pretty good demo now, because we've got all the main assemblies that we've built up attached. So we should be able, in theory, be able to operate all the servos, although I know I have got a few issues with a couple of them. Well, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. 
and I'll see you next time.